ICP is going absolutely insane. And what is ICP? What is an internet computer? Why is it special? Today, we're going to be covering all of that. Now, let's take a look first at the charts. As always, let's look at the price of Bitcoin. Cause that's what matters most. Bitcoin right now is doing pretty good. It's Sunday, so TradFi is closed. But take a look at this. ICP internet computer has absolutely spiked today. A massive green candle. And it's up almost 15% on the day. It broke above $4. It's now at this level right here. And this is one of the most interesting cryptocurrency projects in all of crypto and has one of the most interesting charts too. Now, as we go to coin market cap, as we can see here in the past 24 hours, internet computer is up almost 14%. It was up almost 15%. It's the second biggest gainer of the day of all the, I think of the top 100. This is the top 100 right here. It's the second biggest gainer of the day today on the top 100 as we go to the total coin market cap as we can see it's sitting at number 30 with a market cap of it's getting close to two billion dollars now what is the internet computer so let's take a look at what coinbase or coin market cap has to say what is the internet computer in icp the internet computer blockchain incorporates a radical rethink of blockchain design powered by innovations in cryptography it provides the first world computer blockchain that can be used to build almost any online system or service including demanding web social media without need for traditional it such as cloud computing services aka amazon web services as such it can enable full end-to-end -end decentralization and in this video i want to kind of talk about why the good things about ICP, the good parts about the tech, and some of the downsides with the token as well and what's actually going on. So as we take a look at right now, there's a turn total supply of 508 million ICP and there's a circulating supply of 447 million ICP. And we're gonna be going over some of the token stuff, the good, the bad, what's going on with the tech, but let's first start out with the good. Now, some of you guys, a lot of you guys who are watching this probably already know about ICP, but for you guys who don't know what ICP is, we're just going to go over the basics. What are the capabilities of the internet computer? What makes it different from every other blockchain in crypto? I do genuinely believe ICP has the best tech in crypto. Now, as we can see here, first, it can connect Web 2 and Web 3 without oracles. So until the internet computer, blockchains had to rely on expensive and slow oracles to read from off-chain data sources. ICP smart contracts can directly connect to Web2 APIs, making oracles obsolete. This opens up countless possibilities like sending emails, push notifications, fetching digital assets, or fiat prices, and many more. Now, on top of that, there's also something called the internet identity, which is essentially the internet computer blockchain. It removes the username and password model, and it has a much more secure cryptographic model that keeps your identity private and it's very easy to use as well. Also, the internet computer has the first Google smart contracts in the world. And once again, also it's 100% on chain, no cloud. And also, I keep saying it also, but one of the most interesting parts about the internet computer has something called the reverse gas model. So when you're using something like Ethereum, you initially, the user has to pay for the gas fee, not the developer. With the internet computer, the developer's actually paying for the gas fee, not the users. And this is very good because we know gas fees on Ethereum are very, very expensive. And once again, a big question people ask then is, well, how much are the developers paying for the gas fees then? It's a very, very, very minimal amount. It's a very low amount. It has extremely low transaction fees, extremely low gas fees. It's kind of like Solana, it's super, super low. And one of the also other cool things is it can integrate chains. We're going to talk about this a little later. I don't want to go, I don't want to throw you too much off of you guys, but two of the big narratives or the three kind of big narratives or a couple of narratives I really like from the internet computer is, so the first one is the Bitcoin ICP narrative. And this is the first thing that really caught my eye back in 2021 with the internet computer. So the internet computer is cryptographically integrated with the Bitcoin network and enables a plethora of native Bitcoin smart contract use cases. My real thought process on the internet computer is long, long term, it could potentially, you know, be this whole big new ecosystem and all that. But I think realistically, ICP kind of serves best as kind of an L2 for Bitcoin and also helping out Ethereum as well. I think it, it kind of serves better as sort of a side chain. And this is pretty cool. As it says here, I think DEX is offering BTC trading pairs, decentralized fundraisers, accepting Bitcoin or Web3 SocialFi services, allowing Satoshis to be sent via chat messages, and really cool native Bitcoin integration. And if you go on Coin Market Cap and you actually go to, if you search up Bitcoin L2s, do this right here, or Bitcoin sidechains, see that pops up. 
All right, I don't know. But when you type in Bitcoin or L2 or Bitcoin sidechain, I don't know what the fuck it's called. It pops up and the internet computer is actually on there. So it's considered one. And also super cool thing that I like from the internet computer. So one of the things that's come out of the Bitcoin integration, we're going to talk about, you know, what does this actually, what benefits does this actually, you know, do for Bitcoin? Well, there's something that came out called the chain key Bitcoin and chain key Bitcoin can sent with, be sent with one to two second finality. This is kind of similar to the lightning network without all these centralized intermediary, intermediary channels. So as it says here, chain key Bitcoin can be sent with one to two second finality and negligible fees. A multi-chain Bitcoin twin, trustly created by chain key crypto cryptography and a pair of canister smart contracts that directly hold raw Bitcoin without relying on any intermediaries. And this is pretty, pretty cool. And as it says, you can use your Bitcoin on ICP. And I definitely recommend if you want to um, learn more about this, go on the Definity YouTube channel on this video right here on the what and why of the Bitcoin integrations. Pretty cool. There's a lot of good stuff. And one of the actual, you know, who, what's actually, is anyone actually using this? So this guy right here named Bob Bobley, he's big in the internet computer game. He actually created the first ordinals marketplace built on ICP. So he calls it a Bitcoin L2 sidechain, which is great marketing, by the way. And if you don't know what Ordinals is, it's basically the Bitcoin NFTs. And he created the first marketplace. Marketplace, And as he said here, no gas slash network fees, five second finality, secure token wrapping, 10 times better UX built on ICP. And that is one of just the many use cases for the internet computer Bitcoin integration. There's a lot of other cool stuff. It allows you to do so much. And also the internet computer also recently... I keep saying also, Jesus. Recently, the intercomputer integrated with Ethereum. Now, smart contracts and intercomputer are the glue between the world's most important blockchains. And as it says here, a true world computer enables a multi-chain environment where centralized bridges are obsolete and smart contracts can seamlessly communicate across blockchains. And as it says, ICP already integrates with Bitcoin and native ETH integrations on the way. So what are the world computer comp compatibilities for Ethereum? As it says here, 100% on-chain Web3, you'll be able to make your Ethereum dApp fully decentralized by hosting on the front end and data on the internet computer. So for Ethereum, obviously we can argue it's actually decentralized, blah, 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 but you cannot do the front end decentralized. The internet computer is the only place where you can have a fully decentralized front end. And that's one of the great things it can allow for, you know, projects. And also with the Ethereum integration, you have an Ethereum dApp and you can make the front end decentralized. Also this, gasless token swaps. Using CK chain key ERC20 tokens, users can swap and transfer tokens for a few cents with zero gas fees. And extended DAO functionality, extend what your DAO can control. Powerful ICP canister smart contracts, bring your whole DAO on chain. And a canister smart contract is a special kind of smart contract that's on ICP. And as it says here, protocol level ETH integration. Integrating ICP and ETH consists of two phases. And we're not gonna go over the phases because that's not really important to the normal person and all that. So. Yeah, now let's take a look at this. Chain key ETH in ERC20. So there's chain key Bitcoin. There's also chain key ETH and there's gonna be chain key USDC, USDT. And as it says here, the Ethereum integration enables use of chain key tokens such as CK ETH and CK ERC20 on the internet computer, including CK USDC and CK USDT to vastly extend the capability of ISP DEXs for users to swap or transfer tokens with one to two finality. So basically with Ethereum, we already know the gas fees are high and it's slow. With the CK, with the, you know, the integration, the internet computer Ethereum integration, you'll be able to send Ethereum and send these stable coins very quickly and for very cheaply. And that is, these are the two main narratives I really like about, you know, the internet computer. I like the internet computer L2 narrative. I think that's probably its best bet long-term because we know Bitcoin is not going anywhere. And if we can find, you know, the internet computer is finding a way to contribute to Bitcoin, that's absolutely huge. And there is competition. We know there's a lot of people trying to build on Bitcoin, but the internet computer is really, once again, the Lightning Network's kind of trash and CKBTC makes a good case to be that number one option. So those are a couple of cool things. And if you want to learn more, go on the internet computer integration. Um, well, not internet computer website. Uh, I'm not going to cover everything about it in this video because there's so much to cover. There is a ton of things that it does and a ton of special things. I'm just going over the main narratives and personally why I'm you know, bullish on the tech, etc. Now let's talk about the token price of ICP, which is probably the reason why you clicked on the video because ICP is pumping today. But here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. Separate token and technology. A project can have great tech and a bad tokenomics and also have amazing or bad tech and great tokenomics. And we're trying to make money on these tokens going up. Tech can be cool, but tech doesn't always make you money. We're trying to make money on these tokens going up. Now, initially, when you look at the ICP chart, it is 
if we're just being truthful here, the worst looking chart in all of crypto and for a major crypto that is. And it was released, the token was, re was released at probably the worst time you could ever release a token. It was released back in May of 2021, right before Bitcoin started the crash. And Sam Bickman Freed also did play a large role in manipulating the price of Bitcoin uh, ICP to kind of pump it up and then short the fuck out of it with all made research. But with that being said, there is also kind of a problem with the token inflation and token unlock. So Definity, and Definity is a major contributor to the internet computer, they initially really... really raised a ridiculous amount of money they raised hundreds of millions of dollars it was the largest raise in blockchain history and with that being said there's a ton of vcs that have tokens and they're dumping it pretty much every time that pumps there's a good chance they could be dumping it right now if i'm just being completely real now which is part of the reason why the token you know the whole chart kind of looks like this of course we've got a bear market but with that being said as you can see here back in February, ICP pumped the fucking $8 immediately dumped. As you can see, it's a big wick up, quick crash down, VCs are selling. That is the truth. Now, can you actually make money on this token? I do believe so. I do believe ICP is going to run in the bull market like pretty much every other crypto. But be aware that the tokenomics are not too favorable on this project. The great, the great thing is, is that the tech is good. The bad thing is, is that the tokenomics are ass, okay? And that's just me being completely real. Yes, you're going to be able to make a lot of money on this thing. Most likely. Not guaranteed, not financial advice. What is my price prediction? A lot of people are going to hate on this. I think I would personally be happy if it went to 20 bucks. If it went to $20, I'd be very happy. There's a lot of people who say it can go to $50. I could see $50 happening. I think $50, you know, in a full raging bull market with everything going correctly, the inject injection of liquidity with interest rates coming down, a bunch of other stuff, it could reach $50. I think it's very possible. I'd be happy with 20. 50 is very possible. Do I think it could hit 100? Probably not. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'd be glad because of course I do have exposure to some ICP. So I'm not going to be mad if it does pump a lot, but I'm saying don't expect it to because the tokenomics are not very favorable. VCs still are dumping a lot of tokens. So that is really my whole spiel with ICP and internet computer. Great tech. Tokenomics are pretty poor. But at the end of the day, we're still going to be able to make money on this. I'm not saying it can't go lower either. It definitely could go to $1 or something. I'm just keeping it real. You got to think outside of the box. A lot of you watching this video right now probably are in the inner computer community. You have a lot of money in ICP, but you have to be objective and you cannot be emotional. Okay. And I'm just keeping it real. You're gonna be able to make some money, but also be aware that there is dudes who have a lot of money and they're dumping it every time it pumps. Okay. And that's just the reality of the situation. But overall, I love ICP because it genuinely is contributing to Bitcoin and contributing to this whole Web3 movement because it has the best tech in crypto. But yeah, guys, if you want to learn more, also, I'd recommend following this account on Twitter, this guy named Base Giant. He puts out a lot of great content on ICP. And you can also follow me too. You know, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, and go follow me on Twitter right here. First link in the description. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching.